It is Sunday, September 5th. This is the Global Berliner with this week's news. Since Monday, a group of young people outside the Bundestag calling themselves the last generation are on a hunger strike to fight climate change. They say they will continue their strike until the candidates for chancellor speak with them and a citizens' assembly to fight climate change is set up by the government. We are the children of this society and the government should abide by the constitution and protect our right to live. So far, no candidate has acknowledged their demands. On Monday, the SPD faction in Berlin's parliament voted against and thereby halted a construction law reform that the Senate consisting of SPD, the left and Greens politicians, had been working on for two years. Green and left politicians criticized the move by their coalition partner to stop the law they had at first supported. SPD members argued that the city's administration is not equipped to execute the law meant to expedite construction and make houses more eco-friendly. Members of the criminal Remo clan organization are under pressure in courts in Berlin and Dresden. On Thursday, a member confessed to robbing a money transporter in Kudam. The indictment followed investigations of a robbery and arson in Dresden in 2019 that led to multiple arrests of suspects in Berlin. On Friday, Senator for Finance Matthias Kolatz told the RBB the Senate is finalizing plans to buy 14,000 apartments from real estate companies Vonovia and Dutch Wohnen. This is less than earlier plans to buy 20,000 apartments. On Saturday, 350 different initiatives and 10,000 protesters by police estimates gathered in Berlin for the On Televar demonstration in Berlin to call for solidarity and tolerance. Speakers included SPD Chairman Walter Norbert Borjans and whistleblower Edward Snowden threw a pre-recorded message. The Berlin Fashion Week begins on Monday with live audiences in the craft work for the first time since January 2020. Last summer, the Fashion Week had to be cancelled due to the pandemic, and last January, audiences had to watch online. This year's event will put a spotlight on sustainable fashion. The Global Berliner. News from around the corner for Berliners from around the world. Do you think Berlin needs to do more for tolerance? Let us know in the comments. Want us to report on a story? Send us an email. To keep up with news from Berlin, subscribe to our channel. See you next week.